Can we talk about that electron? Because it's yeah. really fascinating how this thing works. I mean, it's like it is a little circuit around. Yeah, it's, it's a little yeah. it's a little battery made of proteins, and there's a string of proteins that's that come together in the membrane, and they pass along a an electron like a hot potato. They don't want to hold on to it. They shove it along, get rid of it, get rid of it. And in doing so, they're pumping protons, which are hydrogen atoms, into the inner membrane space because there's two membranes that surround the mitochondria. And in that little space, the goal is to make it really acidic by putting in these protons into there. And this electron transport chain does that. But you need oxygen because at the end, when you get to the end, you got to get rid of this electron and they give it to oxygen. Okay, and then that's called respiration. It's the reason we need to breathe so hard when we, when we, uh, when we run, and why we need oxygen in the first place. Now, if you don't have enough oxygen, then that'll lead to these free radicals being produced, and it'll damage the cell. So you might say, well, that makes no sense. If you're running and you're damaging the cell, it's going to be bad, right? But remember, a little bit of damage can be good. So what happens is it stimulates what's called mitohormesis, mitochondrial hormesis. And that has a whole variety of benefits as well, including the manufacture of more mitochondria that gives you energy.